Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And a side note, I'm ill. So please, better with me in this video. Today I thought we could talk about BPD and relationships. <laughs> now I'm someone who has BPD and other diagnosis, which if you're interested in that, I did make a video a while back talking about my diagnosis. That was on my care plan, which I'll link up there. <coughs> so, BPD in relationship is an interesting subject because not everyone with BPD struggles with these thoughts and feelings. I'm, a lot of, I'm someone who does struggle with relationships and, and BPD. Relationships are complicated. We've got friendships, we've got lovers, partners, whatever you want to call them, family. I know personally I struggle with relationships a lot but it's not something that stops. I just don't see the need to have certain relationships. Like I don't have friends really so I don't have friends. Everyone that I had friends, that I was friends with has walked out of my life. My ear needs to pop. The reason I wanted to talk about this is because it can lead to serious issues if it doesn't work out. Let's start with love and relationships. So you're in a relationship and then suddenly it breaks up. If you break up with, if they have BPD, it's going to affect them because we all fear abandonment. And maintaining a relationship is like a full-time job because you put 100% effort into this relationship and suddenly it breaks down and you're left feeling abandoned. Let's talk about family now. Family relationships. We have a, we all have a family. Whether we talk to our family or not is another thing. Using my own experience here, I got into an argument with my mom and my stepdad where I outed everything that had ever happened to me on Facebook and how they treated me. They basically kicked me out and they drove me all the way back to London. And I went, made a video, which I will link up there, saying how I was gonna cut my family off because I felt so hurt. I made a video saying how I was gonna cut them off. I'm so sure I did end up doing that. Uh, I get on a lot better with my family now I'm li living in supported living. My point is, is relationships with BPD are hard and we go to extremes. We can hate you, we can love you, but you don't get both. It's one or the other. And it can change, so I don't know. BPD has so many symptoms that integrate with each other. Relationships and abandonment hit, hit home together. I don't know, relationships and BPD are hard to really understand. Like I said, you can, we can love you, we can hate you. There isn't much middle ground. Anyway, that's all I've got for this video. If you have any further comments related to this, let me know in the comments down below. I want to know your opinion. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon, which is linked up there, or PayPal for a one-time donation, which is linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.